this video, we're going to talk about a very important topic, so stay tuned. So in this video, we're going to discuss what is the ASWB, what does the ASWB exam consist of, and a little bit of my journey into the ASWB exam. So let's get started. Now, I must say this, that I might make this video more than one or two parts because my journey was a very long journey and I'm not making promises but I really want you guys to understand the impact that this exam has caused people who look like me. Now let's get started for real this time. What is the ASWB? So the ASWB is the social work exam that was created, I believe, back in the 70s. And it was created with the mind that we need to have a standard uh, practice to um, cause less harm for those who are obtaining uh, mental health services. So this exam was is designed to help social workers gain knowledge, keep the knowledge in, and showing that they have the knowledge when it comes to practicing as a social worker. Now, this exam, what does it consist of? So this exam is a four hour exam. It consists of 170 questions and I believe 20 questions or 30 questions are eliminated. Um, I'll keep the correct number down in the description box, but yeah. There's uh, a certain amount of questions that are eliminated and you get your final results once you're done with the exam. Now, when it comes to um, these type of standardized exams, people are very hesitant when, it, um, when having to take exams just like this. SATs, LSATs, and all that type of stuff. But the population that is more hesitant, in my opinion, because of my experience, is African Americans. And the reason why is because we look at the history of standardized exams and why they were created in the first place. Now, the social work field did not have a lot of diversity in it. Um, there are missing diversity figures um, that we were not taught in grad school. From my grad school, I'll have to say, we weren't taught a lot of diversity um, figures. So we didn't see a lot of, um, and till now we don't, not as much, but there is a growing aspect of having the field uh, to look more diverse. Now with the ASWB exam and having to disclose their data, it shows that um, there is a lack of diversity in the social work field, and it's because of the exam. In order to, I wanna go back. So the reason why I'm talking about the diversity part is because there's an issue with the ASWB exam, which is the reason why you clicked on this video to learn more about it. <clears throat> and that issue is that a lot of people who look like me are prevented from passing the exam and have to repeat the exam multiple, multiple times in order to pass. And a lot of consumers I've read are seeking therapists that looks like them, that speaks the same language as them, that understands their culture and all that stuff, but they're not able to find that. And that's, that's another thing that's hurting um, the field, the mental health field in general because of these standardized exams. Um, they're preventing a lot of people, a lot of good good social workers, good therapists, um, whichever field of mental health practice that you studied, you're, it's, it's preventing a lot of good people, good people who can bring a lot of diversity, meaning once again, um, whether it's experience, culture, and language as well. And with the population of America growing, there is a need to have um, the mental health field to be diverse, the medical field to be diverse, law, 
um, the law field to be diverse in every type of profession. There needs to be diversity so that way someone can be helped um, for those for the type of things that they're seeking for. Now, let's get to the part of my journey. Now, when I graduated back in 2019 um, with my master's degree in social work from Fordham University, um, I had this, still do, this dream of, of what I see, the change that I want to create in the mental health field. Now, when I graduated um, in 2019, I'd done a lot of work and was aware of the exam and, and learned of the possibility of the, of the faults of the exam as well. But I knew that, you know, I'm going to do the best that I can to prepare for the exam by um, taking the required prep course that is designed, linked with the exam. I took that, took another prep course to study that I felt needed. um, I felt like I was missing more of like practice questions and stuff like that and took additional prep courses. And you might be asking, wow, that's a lot of different prep courses. Did she do it all that, all at once just for her first try? No. So for the first prep course, it was focused on the the recommended um, prep course, <clears throat> and I and it's the it's the Don Apgar book, yes. Um, and I'll possibly create a video on like different prep courses that I truly recommend and truly do not recommend. But yes, so I use that prep course to um, to study for the exam and all that stuff, and then prepare myself to take the exam and unfortunately I did not pass. I missed the exam by eight points on my first attempt. So I needed to pass 98 and I got a 90. And you might be thinking, wow, that that's a 90. That's a, that's a pass right there. That's an A right there. Unfortunately, with the test because there's different different kind there's different versions of the exam so different versions need certain um scoring and all that stuff in order to pass um it depends on the test that you get so that 90 in real life would have been (laughs) a straight pass that's a a right there but fortunately it didn't meet the exam standard which at the time, the version of the test that I got was you need to pass a 98 rather than just the 90 that you got, the 90 I got. So from that first attempt, I was like, okay, um, I was upset. I, I did everything that I could to prep and study. Um... And as for being a, a straight A student, an honor student um, from my graduate degree, I just couldn't believe it. And it took me some time and I had to pause. And, and by pause, I mean I, I had to like process the miss the, that I didn't pass. I had to process that. And it took me a while to get back again now this is where i'm going to stop in this video and make um another part because there's still more to this long journey when it comes to the aswb exam i hope that you learned um something and are able to keep courage and Uh, It took me a very long time to want to share this journey because it was not easy. So I will see you on to the next video.